Hello my friends, greetings from Australia. Today I purchased a coffin block smoothing plane, five bucks, couldn't pass it up. The blade is in quite good condition, and it's worth that at least. The reason why it's so cheap is because it's had a poor repair and it's still got a gaping crack all the way through it. So the idea is repair the repair and try and preserve the patina as much as possible. Bring this blade back up to Nick so that it can take feather thin shavings. It's got a uh, maker stamp on the blade. I'll clean that up and show you that to you later. Yeah, let's get into it. This blade is in good Nick. There's no pitting, and I think it'll turn out quite nice. You can feel a ledge there. So what needs to be done is that this side needs to be pushed up and then clamped together while the glue sets. This sort of glue up is a one shot. You need your work area clean and set up. You need your clamps prepared and tested. I'm using wooden coils and I'm also using this chip packet material and that will stop the wooden coils or the, the clamps sticking to the workpiece. I'm using 5 minute Aerodite. Uh, a little bit risky because it goes off so quickly. I need to mix it, get it into the cracks. I've got 5 minutes before it starts to go off. And then make sure I clamp it properly. and the clock starts ticking. Okay, good trick is to use heat and that softens the, the glue. And be careful you don't burn it. That causes it to flow into the gaps a bit better. Okay, happy with that. I'm going to start clamping it now. Well, that was a success. The glue is holding, the cracks are filled. There's still a massive gap down the bottom there, but at least it's filled. There's some extra superficial cracks that I should deal with at the same time. 
and I'll do that and then we'll clean it up. Okay, it's been in there for five hours. I think that's enough. The bottom of the blade is clean, no pits, and ready for sharpening. The top is a different story. This part cleaned up really nice. This edge needs to be cleaned up a bit better by hand. And we're nearly there. There's something satisfying about using traditional finishes. They're cheap, they're easy to apply, it's how the old timers did it in the past.
the difference between this finish and a high-tech, high-performing uh, polyurethane-based type varnish is that this finish will age like the original. And that's satisfying as well. I think I can actually read this logo now. A. Matheson and Son, warranted, car steel, and it's similar to the stamp on the chip breaker. A. Matheson and Son, Glasgow, and down the bottom it says, solid steel, warranted. I haven't got a proper hammer for this, so I'll just need to be careful. This is a piece of canter laurel. First test. Love that sound. Uh, this, this wood is pretty well seasoned. Uh, let's try something different. This is some well seasoned pine. That's a good shaving. Oh yeah, smooth as a baby's bum. It's translucent. That's better than my metal points. There's nothing much harder than Merbau. That's a rough edge. I'm going to make it smooth. Shiny smooth. You can still see the crack it goes all the way around there and back down into there. But the thing is, it's fully repaired. And I'm not trying to hide it, I'll have to screw that just for prosperity. But I really like the way that this crack was repaired. It's completely seamless. It looks almost like it's a, 
uh, a feature in the, in the timber. Yep, really happy with it. You might notice I didn't go overboard with the, the sanding. Left some age marks on it. Yeah, there's no way of reproducing those marks. And quite frankly, removing them reduces the value of the plane. Before, it was completely worthless. Nothing more than a wall hanger. And now it's a fully working, beautiful tool. Thanks heaps for checking out my restore video. I hope you liked it. And I really appreciate your time. Catch you later.